Hey guys, that's Education here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 beginner tutorial series. And in today's episode, we're going to be taking a quick look at video textures inside of Unreal Engine 4. So this is essentially going to allow us to take um, an MP4 file import it into the engine and that's going to include the sound, the video and then we're going to be able to turn that into a material and place it into a scene like anything other, uh, any other normal stuff. And with these materials we can play with these however we want to. Um, for example we can chuck emissive on there, roughness, metallic, whatever you want to do. Um, so without further ado let's just go ahead and close this and uh, press play and show you what we can do. So if you take a quick look at my viewport here I've made myself a little basic BSP tele, uh, television and then I've chucked this animated material one of my videos straight onto that and if I press play as soon as it jumps in you should also be able to hear the sound of my voice uh, not coming from my microphone right now but coming from uh, the engine as soon as it decides to unfreeze two seconds all right so uh, there we go it stopped crashing now if I jump in and run up to my little uh, TV screen here you should be able to hear my voice playing around in the background and that's coming straight from the mp4 file that I have uh, going on here. So uh, I'm just going to go ahead and delete all of this stuff and I'm going to show you how you can recreate it. So I'm just going to use force delete for now and that should just get rid of pretty much every reference. There's really not that much to it. So delete, delete, delete and boom. Delete just like that. And now uh, you really need to have an mp4 file. Um, I'm not too sure which formats it supports at the moment. I'm going to leave a quick link in the uh, in the description as to um, what what actually is supported by the engine. Uh, but I use mp4 uh, mp4 files at the moment. If you want to, uh, go ahead and use the resolutions for textures as well. Uh, that are about by the power of two, so 1024 by 1024, 2048, and so on and so forth. But for now, I'm just going to go ahead and import um, a normal video, just a quick rendered video from my channel. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Just go to import open it up and it should come in as this little uh, media player thing here. Now if we open this up and press play you should see the video start to play just like this. Now with that we need to do a few things. First things first we need to create the media texture so just right click it go to create media texture and the second one is create media sound wave and this is going to give us the sound from the mp4 file as well. Now once we've got our texture you know we can't just apply that straight onto an object we need to create a material. So to do that just right click it go to create material and it will be created just like that. It's really honestly just that simple. So I'm just going to zoom out here and you can see we've got all the normal nodes um, for now, I'm just going to show you some basic trickery. Um, seeing as it's a television that I'm working with, I'm going to be adding a little bit of emissive. So I'm going to hook up a multiply into the emissive, just like I showed you in one of the previous videos. And then I'm going to hook the RGB into the A. And then I'm just going to put a flat constant into the B. And I'm going to set this to something like 15. So if I go ahead and press apply, and boom. And then if I go ahead and drag the material, not the texture, straight onto my BSP or whatever it is you're trying to apply it onto, it should go on uh, fine and dandy just like this. And you can see it's got the motion and all that good stuff. Now for the sound wave, um, you could uh, just drag that in once again. Uh, drag it in so it's near the object that you're working with. Uh, just like that. So I'm just going to get rid of this old one. Bring this in. And once I do bring that in, you can see I've got a few different settings I can play around with. Um, for now, you are only really going to want to play around with a uh, volume multiplier, which is basically going to be how loud it is. Um, you're also going to have uh, attenuation if you check of, uh, override attenuation. And then you're going to have these two uh, little spheres here showing you, uh, you know, the, the loudest part and then the quietest part. So if I go ahead and press play, it's, uh, it's gone ahead and crashed on me but if you're further away it's going to be quieter and if you get closer it's going to be uh well the opposite louder uh so yeah I'm sorry about that my unreal engine 4 crashed once again um but if, but like i said if i go ahead and jump in now you can see now i'm standing quite far away from the television it's going to be quiet 
And if I go ahead and get closer just like this, you can hear it's going to get louder and louder. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much everything I want to show you for video textures. Um, play around with it, import some uh, videos, do whatever you want. Brilliant for making televisions or if you're just too lazy to make proper animated uh, materials. Um, one thing I do want to note is they are definitely quite uh, resource heavy. As you can see that my Unreal Engine 4 is actually getting a little bit laggy now. Um, as it's going to have to load that whole movie onto the RAM and all that good stuff. Um, so be careful with it. Um, anyway, that's everything. Thanks for watching comment like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video goodbye